Welcome to the 6th and 9th edition of Miss World here in London. I am Vanessa Ponce de Leon. And I'm Stephanie Del Valle. And this is the Head to Head Challenge. I'm here with Group 2. Are you girls nervous? A little yes. bit. <laughs> okay, I remember my Head to Head and I was just shaking but excited at the same time. How was it for you, Steph? I didn't have Head to Head, but what I love about it is that it's actually become my favorite part about Miss World because it gives us a chance to properly get to know a little bit about you guys. Okay, so in this group, we're going to get to know Russia. Hi. Italy. Ciao. Cook Islands. Kiorana. Myanmar. Mingalawa. Ireland. Chiequit. And Guatemala. But before everything starts, let us tell you how it's going to go. First, we'll be watching their introduction videos. Then we will have a chance to chat with the contestants. And finally, we'll get to know a little bit about their Beauty with a Purpose projects. After this, you, the audience, will be able to vote for your favorite contestants in all our social media platforms. Make sure to like, comment, and swipe right on Mobstar, Facebook, Instagram, and the Miss World website, MissWorld.com. So let's go ahead and start. Yeah, with Russia. Hello, my name is Alina Senko. I am Miss Russia 2019. This year has become heaven sent for me, as it gives me a great chance to represent Russia in Miss World contest. You see, I had a special wish on my 19th birthday, which is on the 31st of December, and fortune favored me. I came from a beautiful small town Azov, situated in the south of Russia. My region is well known for one of the biggest Russian rivers called the Don. Our southern region is famous for its beautiful nature, wonderful climate, productive land, delicious food, and of course, kind-hearted, hospitable people. I always been a curious girl. In early childhood, I had a huge desire to create beauty that brought me to music school and lessons of aesthetic skills. My hobbies were dancing and singing in a Russian folk group. I really fell in love with art. Painting is my passion and I express myself through my pictures. I'm a student of Moscow State University of Land Use Planning. I'm going to connect my profession with architecture and design. Last but not least, I volunteer for charity. Even when I was a small girl, I began to realize how many suffering people live around us. I felt that each of us could fight with unfairness and inequality. I cooperate with the charity foundations, which are forming a new reality, where the life for every human is our priority. Helping others is not a job or hobby, it is a kind of lifestyle. I am happy that being Miss Russia gives me an opportunity to draw attention to important social problems and to help more people who are in need of support and protection. We can see that you love painting, you love yeah. drawing. Has this helped you with your career? Yeah, I like drawing so much since, uh, since childhood and I express myself through my pictures. And uh, I think uh, art uh, helped me to express myself and uh, I think uh, I, um, I give my uh, inspire about nature because nature uh, have uh, beautiful forms and uh, beautiful shapes. And um, in future I want to create uh, a special buildings uh, for children mm -hmm. who suffer serious, serious diseases. Oh, that's beautiful. And Thank you. Is that linked to your beautiful purpose? Um, okay. Uh, I think uh, the most unbearable pain is the pain of a civilian child. I mm -hmm. cooperate with the charity foundation, mm -hmm. and I have managed to provide art master classes to children who suffer from serious diseases, who serious immune diseases. Uh, tragically, uh, they uh, have to be born with the walls on the walls, and uh, they, uh, the disease doesn't allow uh, to go out and to develop your abilities. And uh, everybody knows that art has great healing power. It distracts yes. from pain and anxiety, and it is an infinite energy source. And uh, when magic creative process evokes sincere positive emotions yes. and it turned the white walls into a wonderful colorful world and while laughter and smiles are appearing unbearable pain takes a backseat and yeah. i want you to believe every child is talented and unique and children is a new generation is our future and we should 
we should help people, we should help children, we should uh, improve their lives. Yes. Uh, my Beauty with the Purpose project is the first step of the mass scale project that I want to come true. Thank you. Well, I'm sure it will come true, Rosha. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And now we're moving on to Italy. Hi, I'm Adele San Martino, Miss World Italy 2019. I'm 24 and I live in Pompeii. My mentor and teacher of life has always been my father. He was a doctor and he spent all his life taking care with love of his patients. Today I carry on his work, managing a rest home for old people. I have followed his example since I was a child, thus pushing me to graduate in psychology. I can't wait to arrive in London and meet all the other girls who will live this fantastic experience with me. So, Italy, you got all of us tearing up a little bit. Oh, it's such a beautiful story, the one that you have with your father. And just speaking about how much you've learned from him, can you share a little bit of this teachings that he gave to you. Purtroppo ho perso papà otto mesi fa, eh, precisamente a marzo, e l'ho sempre reputato il mio maestro di vita, poiché fin da quando ero piccola lui era un esempio per me in casa. Era appunto un dottore e gli piaceva aiutare tutti coloro che ne avevano bisogno. Tanto è vero che mh, quando ero piccola spesso a casa eh, trovavo sempre gente nuova ogni giorno perché lui li portava, gente bisognosa che non poteva appunto ehm, vivere o appunto non aveva la possibilità che avevamo noi. Mm -hmm. E lui infatti veniva chiamato il dottore del popolo, addirittura non indossava il camice quando stava in ospedale perché ehm, diceva che il paziente non doveva avere un distacco con il medico ma bensì doveva essere come, come un amico. E il suo modo di essere mi, mi ha fin da sempre affascinato fino a, a decidere di poter studiare psicologia e laurearmi in questa materia perché proprio nel confronto con l'altro che io ritrovo la serenità che tutt'oggi eh, mi ricorda lui. E, mh, mi ha sempre detto che eh, la bellezza delle cose, la più grande gioia non è nelle cose materiali ma bensì mm -hmm. nella nostra anima mm -hmm. e ad oggi posso capire appieno quello che lui mi, uh, mi voleva dire perché se ad oggi chiudo gli occhi e sento il suo calore e il suo abbraccio sono felice e quindi capisco che la felicità è tutt'altro e non è nelle, nelle cose materiali ma può essere in così poco. Yeah, I can tell that he's just trained yeah. all over and I'm very sure that he's very proud wherever he is. And is this connected to you a bit with a purpose? Definitely. Yeah. Um, dopo la sua morte io ho continuato il progetto che lui purtroppo non ha potuto mm -hmm. portare a termine. Lui aveva iniziato un progetto uh, nella nostra città a Pompei volendo aprire una casa per anziani, quindi aiutando queste povere persone uh, per, una, per avere una riabilitazione psicologica e motoria e appunto per dare quel calore che le famiglie magari non hanno la possibilità di, dar, di dare. Uh, dal momento in cui, cui, in cui lui è morto ho deciso di uh, poter, poter portare avanti questo progetto e quindi uh, prendere io il suo ruolo di presidente in questa cooperativa sociale. D'altro canto con l'associazione italiana abbiamo deciso di raccogliere dei fondi per uh, tutti i bambini che hanno delle patologie molto gravi uh -huh. e non hanno un supporto uh, dallo Stato italiano anche per poter comprare gli attrezzi necessari uh -huh. per, poter, um, per poterli fare vivere quotidianamente. E quindi uh, stiamo cercando di portare uh, a termine e a compimento tutto questo. Well, that's beautiful and thank you so much for opening up to us. Thank you. Now it's time to check out the Cook Islands. Kia orana. my name is Tajia Ekudasahe and I am very honored to be Miss World Cook Islands 2019. I am 26 years old, born in Brisbane, Australia. At a very young age, I was drawn back to my island home, the Cook Islands. The Cook Islands is made up of 15 small islands that radiate untouched natural beauty. With a population of only 17,552, we may be small in number, but we are certainly big in heart. My family is my biggest inspiration, with two sisters, one brother, 
My dad is born and raised in Fiji. My mother, a proud Cook Islander. Growing up, we had the opportunity to see the world as my parents wanted us to experience and explore other countries, cultures, traditions, and lifestyles. My passion for traveling, helping, supporting, and believing in others grew from there. With over 10 years working in the early childhood industry, volunteering for sports programs, culture endeavors, coaching, and Red Cross, completing my studies in nutrition, health, and fitness, I am able to broaden my understanding and assist my country in any way possible. I could not be more proud representing my beloved Cook Islands at the Miss World London 2019. Cook Islands. Okay, I'm very excited to talk to you because I always wanted to go to Fiji. And I want to ask, uh, is there something special about being from the Cook Islands that you would like the whole world to know? There are so many special things about the Cook Islands. As I said, it's very small. We have one movie theater, no shopping malls, no free Wi-Fi, one main road that goes around the whole okay. island. No Wi-Fi, no free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. <laughs> We only have two buses, anti-clockwise and mm -hmm. clockwise. <laughs> okay. We love to share our Kiorana spirit, mm -hmm. which is greeting everyone with Kiorana. It is both a blessing and a wish of good fortune, and it oh. also means may you live a long and happy life. We greet with a kiss on the cheek and a hug. We, <laughs> we also call all our elders, auntie, uncle, mama, papa, and we treat all strangers like family. We embrace them and we will put a roof over your head. We will clothe you even though we have little ourselves. Mm -hmm. We will always be their fathers. And I love that you have been wearing flowers every single day in your hair. That's so typical of the Cook Islands. Yeah. And the movements that you do with the hands, can, can you show us a little bit? Yeah, of course. Like, so you have to stick your fingers close together mm -hmm. and you can do the motions of a wave. So okay. this represents our Moana. Are we doing it yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. And then you can bring it up. So this is like the calling. That's the sound just too much. Value beauty with a purpose. Is it related to, to what? My beauty with a purpose is very dear to my heart as mm -hmm. when I was 19 years old, I struggled with body issues. It is a very real and sensitive issue that does happen, but most people don't want to address it and talk about it. Yeah. So I took the initiative to study nutrition, health and fitness so I could advise and mentor others. I do want to inspire them with my journey and empower them that they can get through these issues. And even if you are stuck in the dark, you can find a way out of it. I, ha I had to go through a lot of struggle mentally, physically, but I did end up coming out of the light side of the tunnel. So I want to share my journey with others and I want to be there to help them succeed with their journey. And what, who else will be better than you, Miss Cook Island, here <laughs> in this world? I think many people will benefit from what they are listening yeah. right now. So that's the first three of this group. And now Stephanie will introduce the next contestants. Yes, let's get to know the contestant of Myanmar. I was born and raised in the country, which is filled with golden glittering pagodas and also rich in historical cultures, magnificent lands of Myanmar. My name is Kilin Lejeune. I am 22 years old. My hometown is the center of economic city Yango, where my people are known for their friendliness, kindness, and their innocent smiles. I am blessed with my big family. They encourage and support whatever I choose as a career. Do what you love to do and put your whole heart into becoming good at it. Traveling is one of my passion because I love to explore the new places and love to make the new friends. I'm currently studying at the West Yango University to pursue my Bachelor of Arts in English. I never blame to anyone and I never regret any moments of my life because I just try to live every minute consistent with the very best person I can possibly be.
It's my honor, and I feel so proud for representing my beautiful country as a Miss World Myanmar 2019. You said that you're very close with your family and that they're very supportive of you and the things that you want to do. So how exactly is it that that, that they support you? <laughs> yeah, it's very sure of care. So, <laughs> I, uh, actually, I have totally 10 family members. Uh, 10? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> then I will be the youngest one. Oh, you're the youngest. Yeah. Oh, my. Uh, then, and then my family, uh, the value of my family is to be a good person. Yeah. 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 And then... <clears throat> I, uh, sometimes I can feel that I'm so lucky because uh, I, um, when I need something, uh, they they always ready to support to me. Mm -hmm. And then if someone is not ready to support, and the other one is ready to support me. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. You have lots of people then that you can always yeah, count yeah, yeah. on. <laughs> oh, that's so great. <laughs> yeah. And why don't you tell us a little bit about your Beauty with a Purpose project? Um, yes, uh, I want to tell about uh, my Beauty with a Purpose project is to stop cyberbullying. Because uh, when, I, when, I become, when I become Miss World Myanmar, as Miss World Myanmar, at the time I, I was suffer from my cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. yeah, at the time, my family stand for me and they always support whatever, whatever I need and wants. Mm -hmm. And then cyberbullying, cyberbullying is harassment through social media, and it is crime in silent way by anonymous. And I think more than one in three people have experienced cyberbullying. I think a lot of us have. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Experience yeah. something. Well, yeah. that's why sometimes, not sometimes, uh, maybe always, mm -hmm. uh, cyberbullying can go self harm and suicide. Yeah, it's yeah, very and dangerous. That, yeah, uh, that's why I just want to suggest that uh, be more careful what you say to people over the internet. Mm -hmm. And then there is a saying that um, never judge a book by its cover without reading the entire mm -hmm. book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think cyberbullying is one of the classless behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the era of cyberbullying is cowardly. But the yeah. era of standing up and defending a victim is courageous. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we have to put yeah. into the world. More so, courage. Yeah. And then I, I just want to suggest that if you're being cyberbullied, uh, ignore the criticism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Delete trashy comments and words. Uh, not only in your personal account, but also in your personal life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just really that. Yeah. That's that's very good advice. Yeah. And then know yourself. If you know yourself and yourself who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then forget about their words. And go just go and find a mirror and tell yourself you're amazingly perfect just the way you already be. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's why I will be the... Uh, uh, I will be the I will be the inspiration mm -hmm. of the victim of the cyberbullying, and I will do my best to stop cyberbullying. Well, they definitely ah, have a, so a very good example with you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Myanmar. Let's get to know Miss Ireland. See you It's Miss Chelsea Myanmar again. Hi, my name is Chelsea Farrell and this year I will represent my country as Miss Ireland in Miss World. I'm 19 years of age and I'm originally from Drogheda, County Louth, but I moved to RD at a young age with my family. I now live in RD with my mom, my dad, my two brothers and my little sister. So County Louth is best known for its historical significance and holds a place to many beautiful historical sites. County Louth is part of Ireland's ancient east, a region full of historical myths and legends, from Viking invaders, Norman knights, to high kings and ancient tombs, a place brimming with culture, attractions, festivals and fun. I'm a dancer and a singer, and I have been since a young age. I've been a member of Showbiz Kids Stage School since I was very young, and I can safely say that that is where I developed my confidence and my passion for the stage. This year, I plan to use my title to raise awareness on mental health anti-bullying and the dangers of social media, as they're all topics that are very close to my heart. As my beauty with a purpose this year, I'm going to run a campaign throughout schools and throughout children of the younger generation to raise as much awareness on these topics as I can, as I feel today in society, they're huge and need to be spoken about a lot more. I'm so excited to represent my country at Miss World this year. I cannot wait to go to London and meet all the other contestants. But most importantly, I cannot wait to put my best foot forward to make my country, my community, and my family proud. Ireland, you are a performer, but I know yeah. that you're studying something that's completely not in the entertainment yes. industry, which is you're an aspiring midwife, I correct? Am. Yes, I am. I absolutely and, love it. And you're still studying, so 
you haven't had that that moment of bringing no, someone I into had my first birth yet. No, oh my but God. I am so so. so what is it that you're most looking forward to? I think initially it's the whole idea of bringing a life into this world. Like obviously life is so so precious. We are all blessed to be here, but. When a baby is brought into the world, it's starting its journey, like mm -hmm. it's day one. And obviously when I deliver it, it's going to be its first first 10 minutes of life that I will have it in my hands. And yeah. that in itself is so powerful because nobody knows what that child is going to achieve, who they're going to be in 10, 20 years time. So that in itself, I'm so looking forward to just the delivery of it. But of course, then handing the baby over to its parents and to its family because you know, birth and the birth of a baby is the most significant part of a parent's life. Mm -hmm. It's the one thing that a parent will cherish forever. So to be a part of that and to be able to be there and watch the parents' whole lives change forever when you place their little bundle of joy into their arms is just phenomenal. But as well as that, of course, a midwife's job isn't just to deliver the baby. So I am so looking forward to just being there to support and to care for the woman from day one, from when she finds out she's pregnant, throughout her whole pregnancy, her labour and the afterbirth. So it's not only all about mm -hmm. the baby, it's yeah. also looking after the, woman. after the woman. But the strength of a woman in itself for me is just amazing. And that's why I chose this career, because it shows how strong us women all are together. Mm -hmm. And to be able to carry another life inside you for nine months, it's just incredible. I have yeah. no words to describe <laughs> what that has, makes that, me feel. Has that always been something that you wanted to yes, do? Yes, ever since I was four or five, I've really? always wanted to be a midwife and I watch all the programs. <laughs> I think it's just something I've seen that... I've too. <laughs> all of them. There you I go, yeah. It. I think it's just something that I always wanted to do and I always seen it and said, no, I want to be at the bottom of that bed and hand that baby over to its parents. So right. I'm going to do it. That's well, lovely. <laughs> Um, why don't you tell us about your Beauty with a Purpose project? So my Beauty with a Purpose is completely separate to <laughs> babies, but I am focusing it on teenagers and children in Ireland. So in our country at the minute, there's a huge problem with cyberbullying and the dangers of social media, in particular cyber stalking. But for me, over the last couple of years, they've been topics very, very close to my heart. I've been through them all, but I've come out the other side. So this year, when I was faced with my Beauty with a Purpose, I said, no, I'm going to focus my whole project on social media, the dangers of social media and cyberbullying. So I'm running a campaign through all secondary schools and clubs in Ireland to raise awareness on the topics and to teach kids how to deal with them, how to approach them and how to come out the other side. Because obviously I find my light at the end of the tunnel so I want to help as much kids in my country as I can. And in Ireland it's not spoken about enough by people who have been through it. And obviously I've been through it, I know how to deal with it. So I want to be that person who stands up and represents all of my generation and obviously set a boundaries for the next generation mm -hmm. and hopefully help them all through it. So if I help one person in my time, I will be happy. Yeah. I'll be more than happy. Oh, that's worth that's it. incredible. Yeah. And Thank you know, you. It's, it's quite interesting because the both of you have yeah. very similar yeah. topics. Um, and that's one of the things that I love so much about coming to Miss World is that you get to once you experience and you talk to all the contestants, you really get to see that the that the world is and that you're big. not on your own. Yeah. And you're that's my own message. We all have yeah. the same situation, and we can all same get difficulties, through. and we can yeah. all get through. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ireland. Let's get to know Guatemala. Guatemala, I know we don't have your introduction video, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Soy procedente de un país que tiene es un país místico, un país ancestral, maya, de gente indígena. Esas son mis raíces. Es un país que es rico en cultura. Eh, tierra muy muy fértil, somos conocidos como el país de la eterna primavera uh -huh. que atiende a los visitantes para todos los que quieran ir en cualquier época del año, estamos preparados uh -huh. y pues me llamo Dulce María Ramos, tengo 22 años de edad y soy estudiante de nutrición. Excelente. Y Guatemala, mencionas en tu, en tu biografía que tú hablas un idioma que se llama cachiquel. Cachiquel. Bueno, queremos saber, obviamente yo nunca he escuchado de ese idioma, así que quiero saber este, de dónde lo aprendiste, por qué. ¿De dónde salió el idioma? ¿De dónde salió? <risa> como, te, como había comentado anteriormente, somos un país muy rico en cultura y por ello también muy rico, muy, muy, muy rico en, en idiomas. Somos un, un país multilingüe. Uh -huh. Tenemos 25 idiomas, 22 de esas, de esas lenguas son mayas. Adicionalmente, pues tenemos la, eh, la xinca, tenemos la, el español, por supuesto, uh -huh. y pues también tenemos el garifo. Eh, el cachiquel es una lengua que es una, es una rama de una de, las lengua, de, de una de las lenguas mayas, ¿verdad? Eh, yo decidí hablar este idioma porque yo me, me fui a estudiar a otra, a la, bueno, este idioma es originario de la parte alta del país, estamos hablando de, de occidente, uh -huh. me fui a estudiar en un departamento que se llama Chimaltenango, entonces ahí tuve, prácticamente fue por un choque social, entonces okay. yo iba de un departamento en el que realmente no es, no tiene demasiada eh, población indígena, a comparación de cómo tiene Chimaltenango, que todavía es a, a población realmente, la mayoritaria es indígena y a poco ladino, entonces fue ese choque cultural el que me hizo llegar y aprender el idioma, porque realmente, por mi carrera, yo estuve en la licenciatura en nutrición, como me lo había comentado, 
eh, ir a tratar con la población. Uh -huh. eh, tenía, teníamos un proyecto, antes éramos más, éramos un, un pequeño grupo de amigos que iniciamos este proyecto. Era, se trata sobre un pequeño pues, recetario. Ah, empezamos con 10 recetas, a la actualidad y cuando yo ya empecé a estudiar la licenciatura de nutrición, uh -huh. pues ya tenemos, contamos con 50 recetas elaboradas por mí, ya más personalizadas, porque yo siempre he, sido, yo siempre he pensado que el pescador es pescador porque él sabe pescar. Uh -huh. Entonces, tú no puedes ir a una comunidad y decir a la gente, bueno, sí, es que hay de nutrición, ¿cómo? pero tienes que decirle cómo combatir la nutrición. Claro. Y eso, de eso trata el primer nivel de atención en salud. Y yo soy muy, muy enfocada en ese, en ese primer nivel, ¿verdad? Que es la educación. Enseñarle a la gente cómo puede buscar alternativas más económicas y, con, y comer bien, ¿verdad? Y eso es mi recetario, ¿verdad? Son alternativas que esas recetas no valen más de un dólar, o sea, cinco que sales en mi país son muy, muy accesibles, uh -huh. es menos, muchísimo menos de un dólar. Y tú puedes, pues... Eh, comer saludablemente, se le enseña a la gente cómo puede sustituir un pedazo de carne, que es como, te dicen, ah, bueno, hay que comer bien, y tú dices un pedazo de carne, pasta, uh -huh, uh -huh. Y, y realmente eso es costoso. Entonces, es, es de enseñar a la población cómo comer bien. Así que terminaste aprendiendo este, este idioma para poder este, integrarte a la comunidad y Exacto. ayudar a las personas de esa comunidad. Exacto. Porque tú llegas a los puestos de salud y ellos están haciendo colas, están haciendo colas y colas, y en parte hasta se sienten discriminados. Y yo uh -huh. digo, ¿por qué discriminados? Sí, si no ellos saben. son, o sea, ellos son la raíz, ellos son Guatemala. O sea, tú vas a Guatemala y ¿qué sería Guatemala sin el indígena? No sería claro, nada. Exacto. exacto. ¿Y por qué nos cuesta un poquito sobre tu proyecto de belleza con propósito? Claro, mi proyecto de belleza con propósito, está, eh, yo me basé en, la, en una fundación que se llama Fundación Ayubi, Ayúdame a Vivir. Ellos tratan al cáncer pediátrico, ¿verdad? Cualquier tipo de cáncer en Guatemala. Y lo que hicimos fue pues, integrarnos a esa fundación porque realmente el tratamiento de cáncer en mi país es muy, 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 demasiado caro. Uh -huh. Y pues hacemos eso, buscamos, hacemos cualquier cosa para conseguir dinero. Estamos muy, muy, muy contentos porque el año pasado, en, en, en base al certamen de belleza que realizamos, Uh -huh. pues conseguimos bastante dinero y pudimos pues con eso cubrir varios tratamientos de cáncer para las personas, para Excelente. los niños del país. Y lo hiciste haciendo diferentes proyectos haciendo para todo ayudar, exacto, ¿verdad? Haciendo diferentes. Qué Inclusive bonito. también la venta de mi, de mi recetario para la población indígena, pues obviamente es, es gratis, pero sí lo vendo también y ese uh -huh. dinero es recaudado para la población. Perfecto, para la qué bonito. Muchísimas gracias, Guatemala. Gracias. And there you have it, group two. Big round of applause, everybody. The congratulations, you made you guys it. did really well. And now everyone remember to go on to all the social media platforms. We have Mobster, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, MissWorld.com to vote for your favorite. And we'll see you with Group 3.